Hey there, I'm Eli J. Brown slash Sonic Jr. and Sarah here with another Hero Factory mock review that I actually made based upon uh, the well, minions from the uh, Breakout online game. Uh, these are what I, this is what I decided to call Big Brute. Why? Well, because he's big. A lot bigger than a lot of other, uh, of the, uh, hench bots that you will see on the breakout, uh, uh, levels. You know how in the levels, uh, with the exception of the Thornrax level, uh, the sidekicks, the, uh, hench bots always use a black phantom mask, even if they are in a color that doesn't even exist in real life, you know, like the split face henchbots had uh, red heads and though those masks aren't actually available in real life and they aren't available in purple either. And well what I've done here was make a mock that was based upon those larger <laughs> henchbots that you may find in uh, the Voltix level. Uh, you know, they are extremely big, a lot bigger than the normal bots, uh, and, well, I just made this, and he technically has a lot of black parts and gunmetal gray parts, because not all the parts that I needed to make this mock were available in black, so I just substituted it with gunmetal gray, and just made it a continuous flow between black and gunmetal gray. Uh, so, uh, th this chest armor here, this is actually uh, from Bulk. Uh, I'll show you so you'll uh, know. Like, right there, you see the printing? I didn't bother to take it off because, well, it's covered up anyway, so, hey, no point in doing that, and someday I may want to uh, which I probably will not, but if I do decide to disassemble this character and use his parts for other things, I may need that chest armor for other things. Uh, so, uh, the Shredder Claw here, you know that Splitface has this, of course it's actually on the right arm for him, but the Henchbot has has it on the left arm, and when I saw on the game, I saw that this piece right here, this fire villain's engine looking piece, actually should be red, but they aren't available in red, so I used a translucent orange one, because, well, it's, it's pretty close. Uh, some people may say it's a red, um, I tend to look at it as being just orange, but hey, it's close enough uh, for my taste, anyway. And over here, the lower part of the gun, uh, well, not, the gun itself uses the green, translucent green lower gun part from Raka, and I added a ball here so it, the gun would not look so bare. And he has a lot of spikes used on him, uh, since that's what he appeared in the game. And, and I did mention this in my review on Bulk, where <laughs> since Bulk included three uh, black feet, one was actually used on his back, uh, and the other two were just to use as feet, I was going to get another black foot on Brickling to complete the pair, but I came up with a different use for it, <laughs> use it on the back for this character, even though there's nothing connected to the foot on this uh, character, except for the body, and, well, oh, there is another thing to note, uh, this armor piece right here is actually longer than this one over here. Let me see if I can uh, see exactly what... Okay, this one says a 6, and I assume this is a 5. I just decided to put it on there just to make some use of that piece. 
It's barely noticeable, provided the fact that this lower arm doesn't have any armor on it. Uh, and I really needed to fit the, uh, the armor on the lower arms, but uh, without these extension pieces from Black Phantom, uh, the pieces would just kind of collide with each other, like they would just hit, like if you were uh, trying to fold a leg all the way, you would go DUNK! Uh, it would not work out very well, so uh, I used one of those uh, extension pieces to extend the leg, and and also there there isn't much stability in bending the foot here. I was looking at my split face on the uh, shelf, uh, the one that I built, uh, the other one I just got for the parts because of the split face, the literal split face. And it doesn't bend very well. Of course, on the TV uh, series of Breakout Split Faces, armor is actually like this instead of the way it is. Probably because it looked better on TV, but I kind of bother doing that for this character. So, yeah, that is my review on who I decide to call Big Root. So, I hope you liked this video, and if you do, hit the like button, and if you don't, hit dislike. I'm okay with whatever one you press. I just appreciate your feedback. And as soon as the new Hero Factory sets come out, I'll get those and review those, and I'll come up with some more mocks if I can. So, I'll talk to you again later.